Lake Placid is kind of a sacred tournament in the lacrosse world. There's a couple other tournaments that I've put in that category. And I think what you see up here is kids just playing, um, playing for the love of the game and, and really enjoying um, just the beauty that is Lake Placid and kind of getting away from the 100 degree turf that we see in our sport, which, which is great. But I think at the end of the, the summer, it's nice to have a change of pace for these guys. These guys arrived with us on Saturday night to check into our dorms and um, this is just the first night together we have to hang out with you know each other and then uh, Sunday we roll into kind of a full day of off the field activities. Yeah, they don't have an emergency number. We'll figure it out. The uh, transmission's broken, I think. But we're gonna fix it. Looked at the registration. It's it's it was registered to Lake Black Lake Placid Baptist Church, which is where we stay sometimes. So I called the pastor there, and I was like, "Dude, I have your van and it doesn't work." And he's like, "Yeah, the transmission's broken on it." So I, they rented us a bad van. They had dropped it off to get fixed. No way. Yeah. So we'll just have to get that other van. So or we're just gonna be, uh, I think, zip tying kids to the other van on the outside, bungee cord. We'll figure it out. The dorms uh, are a unique situation. The dorms, um, they're smart. It was smart of the coaches to do. Um, we're not in town, but we're here, and it, it kind of forces us to hang more as a team instead of breaking into little groups, which is good. Can't really tell you what goes on in the in the dorm rooms, though. It's obviously really interesting with no TVs. Uh, you're kind of forced in a way to uh, get to know everyone and spend time with everyone uh, for the better. A lot of the times when you go to these tournaments, it's just a lot of lacrosse, which is by no means a bad thing, but the things off the field that FCA offers um, brings a unique experience that is like no other. I would say it's something that if you have the opportunity to be a part of, you definitely wouldn't want to miss out on it. So here's what you guys are gonna do. You're gonna go in. You gotta find your helmet with your last name. And then there'll be bags. I'll go in there. Your bags have your name. So it has two shirts in it, your shorts, and then there's gloves. The first two piles of gloves are larges, and then the last pile are extra larges. So try to like not, there's not a many extra larges. So if you guys have small hands, like don't grab an extra large. And then uh, what we'll do is, let's say 11:15, we're gonna go across and meet there. Grab our Bible. So you guys can go try everything on. If something doesn't fit, I have other sizes, okay? Sound good? All right, let's do it. I the helmet and gloves are at a tie. The chrome helmet, that's pretty sweet. And then the gloves, the Under Armour gloves, I've never worn Under Armour gloves and they broke in right away. I brought, I like the helmets right now. They're pretty sweet. The, we got the chrome and the dark blue that goes well with the jersey is kind of different. Everyone's rocking the same helmet, so kind of sets us apart in that aspect of things. Pretty cool. 
a lot of these guys are, are playing lacrosse all summer and we don't want to just give them another uh, recruiting club scene tournament and, and our real hope is that these guys get to come together and really experience something that's special specifically off the field we want to give these guys opportunity to build relationship with each other and also to build or, or discover what it means to have a relationship with Christ and we're completely cool with wherever people are at so we really try to just meet everyone where they're at and then uh, enjoy our time together on the field and, and off the field. As you guys know FCA is a fellowship of Christian athletes and one of the things we do Everyone in this room is kind of a different place spiritually, right? I'd say, I know some of you guys go to church, you know, it's part of your life. I know some of you guys are play for FCA, so you're, you're familiar with this. I know some of you guys are like, you know, this is just a really good lacrosse team and I came up here. And we're excited all of you guys are here. I don't really care where you are along that. You might be like, look, I've never opened a Bible before. I have no idea what this is. Um, and that's totally cool. So we're gonna just go to the, the Gospel of Matthew, which is page 819. You sort of start to become comfortable with the uncomfortable in terms of talking about things you may not necessarily talk about or sort of having to open up about yourself in some sort of small groups or talking about uh, religious aspects or, or just yourself as a person. It sort of helped me to grow a lot in that sense. I mean, obviously we want to play the best lacrosse that we can, but uh, it kind of opens your eyes to what life is about and how it's more than lacrosse. And uh, this team kind of helps me learn myself. Get ready. It's um, 11.50 here. Let's be, let's get out the vans at 12. Sound good? And we'll head to uh, Gondola and get going. Sound good? Cool. White face was pretty crazy. Growing up, looking at the mountain, I'm like, holy cow, like, how do people ski that? From the bottom, it looks insanely steep, and I'm not a guy who does well with heights, so I've been on a gondola a few times, but uh, I mean, it's definitely something I'm not used to. White face was awesome. Um, we rode the gondola up as a team and got to see the breathtaking view of Lake Placid, which was awesome. That was my first time at the top of the peak, and so I've never seen such a pretty view here in New York. I was just like, wow. It really just takes your breath away being up that high in the mountains and being able to see so far and seeing so many different lakes. And I mean, me personally, I just kind of think about how great and how big a, our God is and how like, insanely blessed we are as a, a group of people that we could even be a part of it. By the afternoon, we try to get some lacrosse in, get a good practice over at Northward School. Definitely really excited to play. Uh, there was definitely some chemistry issues that we had to work out, some knots. Uh, but once we kind of got the ball rolling, we saw how talented we were. The practice helped a ton. Breaking in the new equipment, meeting the new guys, playing with them for the first time. I think that was big for us. Well, I'm Coach Kelly, coach at Capitol High School. And uh, I guess this is my second year to coming up here coaching. I coached some of you guys last year. Looking forward to having a, a good event. And um, I'm really excited to be here. I'm looking forward to watching you guys develop and grow as a group. And uh, let's go out and be the best team we can be. And if we are, we should win this thing. Let's get a good diamond stick work. Calvert Hall guys that get in a different spot. We'll just do one big stick work group. And then we'll be ready to go. On three, FCA. Ready? One, two, three. FCA. FCA. All right, let's go.
Got that. Here, on it. I'm in, I'm in. I'm out. Hey, one, 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 two, one, two, one, two, Step in. Step in. Oh, 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 Step in. If, a, if we have a short stick on the ball, we should be ready to go. All right, you guys are good. Get all the balls. All the balls. Woo! It's amazing. Lord, we're just thank you for today, God. We thank you for um, just the beauty of your creation, Lord. We're reminded how big you are when we stand on your mountain and just look out over um, over beautiful upstate New York, Lord. Uh, I just thank you that everybody's healthy and, and um, pray that you bless us going forward into this tournament. Uh, that you would just uh, strengthen us and, and give us spirit of courage and unity. And you just keep us healthy as the week goes on. Pray that you bless this food to our use and us to your service in your name. Amen. Amen. Hey parents, if I guys have you guys come in here a little tighter up under the pavilion. For you guys who have never been a part of FCA before, don't know the history. Fellowship of Christian Athletes was started in 1954 by a basketball coach, and basically just with the vision of using coaches and athletes to share Christ. And that vision's been living on for the last 65 years. There's about 2,000 people on staff with FCA across the country. And we have about six people on staff specifically to do this lacrosse ministry. Ryan was fortunate to be on the first FCA lacrosse team ever 25 years ago in Vail. And uh, FCA just has a, a really rich history with their teams. And uh, especially up in Lake Placid, we've been coming up here since 2004. And uh, for the last six years, we've been able, fortunate enough to win this tournament. So we're gonna try to do that again. But uh, just really excited to have all of you here. Welcome. And uh, just so glad that you guys are here. So. Thank mm -hmm. you.